Hey guys, I'm here doing another product smackdown. This time it's a lipstick smackdown. If you don't know me, you can find me at www.youtube.com slash makeup by night for all my other videos. So today I'm gonna to be testing out two of my favorite lipsticks. So if you wanna know which ones I'm going to be testing against one another, please stay tuned. So the lipsticks that I am going to be putting up against one another are from completely different sides of the tracks. And the tracks meaning price range. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is this one and it's $9.65. It's called Cherry Picking. And this one is a Wet n Wild lipstick. And uh, as you can see the packaging is a little cheaper but really, really that doesn't matter to me. All that matters it's on the inside guys that's all that matters so as you can see the color is actually a really vibrant gorgeous color and it's so beautiful for autumn these lipsticks are super long-lasting they are a matte formulation it comes with 3.3 grams of product and costs around three dollars you can find these in Walmart and I believe other drugstores around Canada. And the one it's going up against is Max Diva Lipstick. This is also a matte formulation. Again, super long lasting, a drier formulation as well. All of the matte lipsticks come in at around 20 to $21. The product amount is three grams. This is one of my favorite lipsticks from MAC. I have not bought MAC in about two years. I kind of swore off of them a while ago, but when I do get the chance, I do end up wearing this color. It is a darker color. It is definitely a bolder color, and they do have more neutral colors in the matte formulation if you were looking for something a little more wearable. Okay, so I'm going to start out by testing the MAC Diva lipstick. All right, so this is Max Diva lipstick. Right after I applied it, as you could see in the swatch portion of the video, it did glide on quite smoothly for a matte lipstick. So I'm gonna check back in a couple of hours and see how well this lipstick has held up. So it has been approximately three hours since I put on the MAC Matte Diva lipstick. And as you can see, the color has gone down a little bit, has rubbed off. It doesn't feather too much on me. So I've wiped off Diva and now I'm gonna go on to the Wet n Wild Cherry Picking lipstick. So I'm gonna also check back in another three hours from now. Okay guys, so it has been another three hours. I had to fix my hair and makeup. It's been a long day. So this is how the lipstick has held up. Definitely did lose a little bit of product, I would say. Not color though. This lipstick does not compromise on color at all. These two definitely held up against one another. I would say both are superior quality. Um, really, there is not much of a difference. I would say maybe the MAC matte one is a little bit more drying than this one, but again, they are both a drier formulation of lipstick regardless, and they both last amazingly. So I mean, having said that I, both, I love both of them equally, I am going to have to choose the Wet n Wild Cherry Picker Lipstick. I'm sorry guys, I know a lot of you guys are MAC addicts. When Wet n Wild came out with these ones, oh my goodness, like my jaw dropped. So these come in so many different colors, there's probably about 20 and they're only around $3. So how can you really choose a $22 lipstick over a $3 lipstick that works just as well. Wet n Wild is a great affordable drugstore brand. They do not compromise quality at all, regardless of their price, and I think that is a wonderful thing. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked this product smackdown, please leave a comment and a thumbs up. If you have any requests for product smackdowns, please let me know and I will see if I can do one of those for you. So thanks for watching.